time for the silly hat. Do an elf stall. will be the last video before Christmas so I should be saying happy Christmas to everybody because it's a Christmas video we're into uh, silly hats and silly costumes I don't know whether you remember last year's but last year's video John and I were flying and we both had Santa hats and uh, I'll probably clip, I'll, I'll probably put parts of that in this video, okay? Because I don't want to repeat myself. Most of you will know that I used to be a primary school teacher. Well, I worked in primary school for nearly 40 years as a classroom teacher and then subsequently as a head teacher for 17 years. And the one time of year that I really miss it is uh, Christmas time and it's a matter of sort of entering into the spirit of it and seeing how excited the children are and how they get all the other different bits and pieces so I will if I haven't already played it played some of the clips that made those events so special I don't know whether or not the uh, the grandchildren are watching this but Ollie, Reese, Sophia, Ben uh, we're going to take off in our Santa hat in order to see whether we can find out if he's having a test flight in the sleigh. I know it's not Christmas night, but maybe he's up and about. I didn't do Santa gear this year because my grandchildren, especially the two younger ones, um, have been having a lot of fun and games with a Christmas elf that keeps appearing in different rooms and in different places in the run up to Christmas. And I thought, courtesy of one of the supermarkets, this outfit sort of uh, jumped off the shelf at me. So it's uh, my uh, Christmas offering to uh, to my viewers, uh, but mostly to my grandchildren. I've, I've turned back over the airfield because as I backtracked ready to take off, I noticed Martin and Cynthia heading off in this direction, but I can't actually see them at the moment. Even though I've got a woolly hat on, with my air conditioning on, it's rather rather cold. Well, I was going to say cool, but no, it's actually quite cold. What I did notice is, although I put the um, Garmin Glow on, I didn't actually set up the Sky Demon on the iPad, which I'll do very quickly. Not that I'm going to go anywhere particularly. I did phone this morning to see whether or not Finland were going to be uh, having their delayed uh, fly-in. Uh, last week was absolutely atrocious. Um, they actually had to um, cancel or postpone that 
uh, but I phoned up this morning and although they didn't actually say uh, they would take me uh, because being fairly light but what they did say was that the ground there was still extremely soggy in places so as I said before and it was really really nice I have to say to get all that positive feedback from from you about the fact that they quite understand that um, sometimes it's just important to have a little fly around uh, which is what I'm going to be doing again now I'm going to take the fuel pump off I haven't heard from any of my ex-colleagues about how their Christmases are going did bump into a number of parents um, in the supermarket. We tend to shop in Colchester, but sometimes if we shop in Clacton, we do bump into um, parents and ex-parents and ex-children. Uh, and I like doing it. Um, trouble is now, I sort of, I look at some people and look at them and I think, did I used to teach you? Because, um, of course, they all change drastically. Um, the only change I, I've got is the fact that I'm shrinking, and I really am shrinking. But uh, maybe not around the waist, but I do need to be careful of that. I used to go out for a number of Christmas we meals with, with different groups of people, which doesn't tend to happen now I've retired, but uh, we are going out tonight with Karen's Riding Club, which would be very nice. I'll um, get the suit out. I don't think I've worn it much since Toby's wedding last year. Storm Freya seems uh, an absolute age ago. Oh, you need to see the video for that to make sense, but uh, Toby and Jenny got married on Brownsea Island, which is um, it's a National Trust uh, property. Uh, but Jenny works for the Waitrose John Lewis Partnership and they have a hotel on the island but unbeknown to us at the time Storm Freya came along which threatened to uh, scupper the whole event but as I say, if you haven't seen that I'll put a link in it now I might actually put the heating on in a minute because my hands are cold. My head inside this is now very nicely warm. I'm going to descend and see whether or not they're working with the horses. So put the hat in the descending mode. And let's come down a little bit. I don't know whether you can see it from the back camera, but you've got the Roman River with some lovely meanders. From the time I first started filming that, in that chunk in the middle is now all, all houses that never used to be there. Tide is fairly low. Never know whether that front camera is going to work very well or not.
and a little bit of a wave. Oh, I didn't put my bubble into a climb position for that. I was just thinking there about Christmas um, and how different Christmas traditions. I don't know whether you uh, are a traditional um, turkey and all of the trimmings. Different families seem to be seem to do different things. I know that my mum always used to like to have chestnuts in her Brussels sprouts. but I am rather partial to my Christmas pudding. I know one staff meal, we were asked what we wanted with our Christmas pudding, and I really couldn't decide. I think it had to be custard, but there again, I do like cream. But I'm also uh, a bit of a fan of ice cream. So I know, <laughs> I know that the staff at the restaurant knew this, so they uh, they actually provided my dessert with all three, which was probably a little bit piggish of me. But I have to say, one of the things about Christmas meals that I, I like is I do enjoy uh, what we have on Boxing Day, which is cold turkey uh, and whatever meat, other meat we might have, but we have cold turkey or with bubble and squeak uh, all the leftover vegetables and I find that very nice. I know a long time ago I was talking about, changing the subject completely, I was talking about the new roundabout that seemed to be worked on for ages. Um, I'm actually sort of circling it now, or whether or not that front camera is picking it up. It does seem to do the job, now it's now it's up and running, but instead what they're doing is they've now got the centre of Colchester all dug up. I was always very proud to take our junior children to the parish church for a candlelit carol service. This is a recording of a solo first verse in front of a congregation of 500. Take it away, Daisy. Quick look and see if Seba John is at home. It's Saturday, so the chances are he's busy working. Dedham. 
I noticed that the store has done its normal bits and pieces. Yep, quite a bit of water there. Flatford Mill, <laughs> all the boats have been pulled out of the river and they're all on the lawn. Haven't actually rowed the river for a long time now. Used to be a favourite thing when the children were smaller. Okay, uh, I think that will be about it, really. And then the, love, the very last Chris Dingle, they actually sang what was my favourite, well, I had a number of songs that they used to like singing. The one I thought they used to sing best of all was Let There Be Peace on Earth. All right. um, and they sang that as the very last thing, as a farewell to me. Oh, um, right. and that uh, that's quite uh, a moving one. I hope you've enjoyed the flashbacks that I've been putting in to last year and that flight with John, uh, especially some of the singing that my school used to do. Ha ha! Having said that, I just seen that Martin is on approach. And that I said that I was going to help him push back because he's a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle to get his machine uh, into. Ending mode. Actually, it's 
suppose I could do side slip, couldn't I? Thank you, as always, for your support and your encouragement. 